one under par, and Lee Trevino was two shots behind at one over par. All three players got their pars on the par three, 208 yard seventh hole, and there was no change in the match. The eighth hole is a par four, 356 yards, and I doubt that you'll ever see a more beautiful setting for a tee shot. The players cross a small moat on bridges, and you can see the tee is completely surrounded by water and flowers. Frank Beard, one on the par, has the honor. Frank Beard hits a nice tee shot. It's down the center of the fairway. It's going to carry just uh, over the trap and trickles down to the right. And Beard hit a fine tee shot right on line with the flag all the way. Julius Boros, knees flexed, both toes out slightly. Long, low backswing. Hits it out uh, down the right side of the fairway. It's hooking just a little bit now towards the trap. It's going to land short of the trap, and it's running up toward it. And from here, it looks like Julius Boris is short of the trap on the left side. Lee has a very flat swing. He has always said that due to this flat swing, he's been unable to hit the ball high. You'll watch how low he hits it along the ground. Open stance, low. And he hits it right along the top of the fairway. It's going to carry over the ditch and runs up towards the trap. And he is OK. Frank Beard and Julius Boris are walking over the bridge here on the beautiful eighth tee, and they'll be heading down the fairway to play their second shots. And I've just gotten the word that Lee Trevino has notified our referee that he will be unable to continue because of an ailing knee which has been giving him trouble ever since he arrived here in Mexico City. Pedro is explaining to the club officials what has happened. Lee's caddy has picked up his tee shot here on eight, and due to a recurring injury, Lee Trevino has been forced to withdraw from play. It was doubtful that Lee would be able to tee up today, but he decided this morning to give it a try. The match will continue on with Frank Beard and Julius Boris tied at one under par. Here's Julius Boris with a seven iron. Boris starts it to the right of the flag. It's going to carry just over the trap, trickles down the hill toward the sand trap, and I believe Julius Boris caught the sand on the right side of the green. Frank Beard driving very fine today. Here's uh, Frank with a 9-9 for his second shot. Frank's shot is long over the flag, carries right up over the pin, hits and jumps up and stops immediately. Frank Beard was on line there, but for the third time today has carried the ball well past the pin. And in reverse, Boris has been short on four occasions. Julius Boris has a good lie, and he's a fine trap player. You notice how he sets his feet firmly into the sand and makes sure that he has good footing and to play the simple explosion shot and plays a good one. Right at the flag, it carries up on the uh, terrace and rolls about six inches, and he has a nice putt for his par, just about five feet. This course is playing about 7,178 yards long, and par is 72. Frank Beard, downhill. Taps it nicely at the cup. It's got a chance. Boy, that gets right in the back of the cup. I don't know how it stayed out. Just in the back of the cup and jumped up. Apparently the uh, lip of the cup might have been a little soft there. But it hit in the center and jumped up and stopped just back of it. Frank got his par. Boris now uh, has this five or six footer for his par to stay even with Frank. He's got it. And through eight holes of play, the match is still all even. The 615-yard par five ninth hole is the longest hole on the course. There's out of bounds on the right-hand side of the fairway and woods over on the left. About 275 yards from the tee, there's a creek running across the entire fairway, so the players will go with irons rather than risk reaching the creek with a driver. They'll also have to lay up with their second shots as the whole dog leg sharply to the right before the fairway opens to the green. Both players used two irons off the tee. Frank Baird, who drove out about 250 yards, was away and getting ready to play his second shot. With a three iron, Frank Baird down the center of the fairway and is in a good position for his third shot on this five-part ninth hole. Julius Boris with a four iron for his second shot. 